Hi guys, welcome to Leave Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am, and we are back with the one and the only Oliver Anthony. Last week we did uh, Richmond, North of Richmond, and uh, that was probably the most powerful song I've uh, heard in a long time. Uh, it's usually, that's not like my genre that I usually listen to. I really, really enjoyed that song though, and um, it's just usually not like my cup of tea, but that song like spoke to me on levels that music hasn't spoke to me in a long time. And uh, it was really nice to see someone be so fucking brutally honest as I am, because I, uh, I strive to be as honest as possible in all things, because uh, I'm in recovery as well, because we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, the song we're gonna be listening to is uh, I've Got to Get Sober by Oliver Anthony. And I picked this one, because a lot of people recommended it on the other video, uh, but I've, like I said, I'm in recovery. I've been clean for three years. My clean date is 10, 15, 20. And, uh, Still going strong. Um, it's kind of crazy. The like, guy I've been in and out for like 10 years, uh, like the rooms and everything. And um, this time I have not gone to a single meeting, <laughs> nothing, nothing of the sort. And uh, it's actually worked this time. You know, I had a baby and I got in a relationship, which you're not supposed to, obviously, but it worked for me and hopefully it will continue to. So I'm gonna quit yapping. Let's get right into this. If you guys are not subscribed, please help a brother out and click the icon right below my face. I'd really appreciate it takes like two seconds, it's absolutely free, and uh, it really, really helps the channel out. We just hit 6,500 today. Thank you very much, guys. I love you all so much. Here we go. Oliver Anthony, I've got to get sober. Three, two, one, go. And I had a real dilemma between this video and the lyric video, but I picked this one. Nice beard, bro. Well, the life we've been given and the way we've been living Just a song that we write till we die yeah, here we Some go. people write songs on living just right But I write mine on just getting by And I'll go on to him, start writing the hymn that sounds so sweet But the troubles and the sin of the world that we're in knock me back off my feet. I gotta get sober. I gotta start living right. And I don't know how it's gonna go, but it ain't gonna happen tonight. So pour them down strong. Till I drown And if I wake up tomorrow When that sun comes back around I'll be wishing I was sober You sure will Well, the liquor and the bowl They've been saving my soul From the pain that the world's put on me And Lord, I know that upstairs There's an old man who cares And one day he'll set me free A rasp in his voice <laughs> I'll go on a whim Start writing a hymn that sounds so sweet But the troubles and the sin of the world that we're in knock me back off my feet. I gotta get sober. I gotta start living right. And I don't know how it's gonna go, but it ain't gonna happen tonight. So pour them down strong. Till I drown And if I wake up tomorrow When that sun comes back around I'll be wishing I was sober Fuck, man This dude's got a real gift Like, for real I'm Crazy Well, the life 
And the way we've been living's just a song that we write till we die. Exactly. It's a beautiful song, man. And it's a beautiful guitar. I'm like, holy shit, I want that guitar so bad. <laughs> Fuck, man. He's very right. That's how, uh, I know a lot of times I fell off, bro, because I'd be bored or shit would happen. And I had already made the decision months before it actually happened sort of thing. But I always had this escape plan from every situation I ever got in, like when I was clean, that if something happened or I decided not to be, or I didn't want to do this anymore, I would always have this like escape plan to go get high and like, go live, you know, being homeless and being a junkie again, you know. <laughs> I, would, I don't know why I did that. Like, why did I always have this plan? And I, I acted on it a couple times just to go back to that shit. Even when I, I did, like, did all that work to get out of it, and then you just go right back. It's not like you lose that progress, though. People tend to forget that. And the progress didn't go anywhere. It's still there. You just got to slip up, and it happens, you know. Um, but it's just just like the other song. Oliver just gets right to the heart of the issue, and it's it's not about the drugs. It's not about the shitty world we live in. It's about us and uh, the decisions we make and the things we choose to cope with them, those decisions and the consequences. Um, unfortunately, there's not that many options, it feels like, to people that don't have money and they have to work all day and, you know, they come home and, what are they going to do? They're going to drink. Well, that's what at least most professionals do. They smoke weed or something or coke or... I was a, a degenerate. <laughs> I was fucking doing everything. Uh, but it, it, it just goes to show that there is a lot of turmoil, especially in this country, it feels like. And I feel like it's so readily available because of greed. You know, because people... I don't think people would ever want to naturally sell things that could kill somebody if they do it sort of thing. I don't... Th I just think people are poor themselves, too. And... They find a way to make money that's easy. They're going to do it, you know. And uh, it just goes to show that there's just this sickness that we have right now. And it's just this, it feels like it just boils down to, uh, I don't know, not having empathy and being greedy. That's the best way I can get it into. Because um, I've been trying to fit things in this box for the longest time. Like this, my head of why this stuff happens, you know, I have to understand. Like, I'm a type of person, that I'm a knowledge seeker. I, mean, I don't want bullshit. I want the truth. I want to know what the actual reality is. Because um, that's the only way you can actually get better. You can't live off of fantasies and imagination and all this made-up bullshit in your head, all this abstract thought. No, you actually have to go out and do it. Stop drinking. Stop smoking crack. Stop shooting dope. Whatever your thing is, just stop. It, uh, people get mad when they say that, but it's to be honest with yourself. And this is something that I wasn't for the longest time. Sit down and be honest with yourself. Do I really have to do the next one? Will I die if I don't do it? And then there's Xanax and there's alcohol. You might die, but you can easily just go to the hospital. Like It's a choice that we continually make. Every time I robbed somebody, every time I stole money from my mom, every time that <laughs> just a lot of shit... I made that choice. I already had it planned out in my head. I didn't care what the consequences were. I hardly even thought about them because I was too good to be caught. That's how I thought. I thought like that. It's crazy the person I am today compared to where I was before. And um, just thank you to Oliver for making music like this because uh, it just goes to show that there are people out there because it's just social media and the world that we live in, it just makes you feel like you're alone in your thoughts and how you feel. Um, a lot of people just like choose to live in these echo chambers of like their own opinions and like they don't want to be challenged on things. They don't want to grow. They don't want to get better. They want to be exactly how they are and they don't want to change. And they get stuck in their ways so bad. And I just think social media has completely ruined us. Like that was literally the doom of civilization. At first I was thinking it was the internet, but it's not the internet. No, it was social media. Uh, Yes, everybody should have a voice, but not everybody should be connected and be able to hear everyone's voice because not everyone's voice is sane and not everyone's voice is uh, conducive to a healthy society, um, especially when it comes down to drug addiction and you have pharmaceutical industries pushing pain pills in the 2000s and then taking them away and then suddenly fentanyl comes in. Like, come on, people, 
you're not stupid, right? People are not, like, I see this stuff. Like, it's all set up. People don't think over long periods of time these plans and the things that people do to make money and power and all that. They go decades into thinking about this stuff and planning it out. And, like, it's just one phase after another. And I'm scared to see what the next phase is because, like, this walking zombified state that half of our country is in is very frightening to me as an American. Uh, a lot of things are frightening to me as an American right now and as a father and uh, as someone who's fucking poor as fuck. And I, <laughs> I don't even have wiggle room to like, you know, I don't, even, I'm not going to get into all that, but it's, it's just really hard um, existing right now. And I definitely made some bad choices and I'm still paying for them and I'm okay with that. But I don't want all this extra bullshit to worry about that I shouldn't have to because the people that we elect are inept and greedy and fucking out of control. Um, <laughs> there needs to be term limits. And like, I'm an independent, I'm a centrist. I have been my entire life. I think both sides have good ideas and both sides have stupid ideas. And I think both, I think the entire system is rigged and I don't even really like putting words that I belong to that system in the slightest, but Sometimes to fix the problem, you have to be inside the problem and understand it. So within the problem, I am an independent and I am a centrist. But I think that people are greedy, they're lazy, they're distracted, and they uh, have strings being pulled from every direction, from their backers and their benefactors and all that stuff. Fucking lobbyists. And what am I talking about? I'm so sorry, guys. Holy shit, I just realized I'm just babbling. Thank you, Oliver. That was a fucking wonderful song, as usual. Uh, that last one and this one just really hit me on a deep level and it gets me talking and that's why some videos are better than others with me because I can only work with what I'm given when I'm giving something like this I can work with it and it's amazing and I I felt something out of that I felt this man's pain and his indecision and that's the indecision that we all have as addicts it's we're just stuck in our ways we know that we need to change deep down and in our conscious mind but we consciously choose not to every single time um and that's the power of addiction, man. Uh, physically, mentally, and spiritually, it destroys you in three different ways. It is a three-pronged attack against one's own reality and self. And it is, uh, it's deadly, and it'll get you. So thanks for watching. Patreon, right there. If you want to hear more of me babbling about whatever, it's right there. Uh, if you just want to donate and you want to do a request for another Oliver Anthony song or anything else like Michael did originally with the Richmond song, there's a PayPal address right there. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you think there's another song by him I should do, please leave it below. I will definitely do it because this guy is fucking awesome. See ya. When I came to the camera, my face was like that. I didn't know. Hi, <laughs> guys. Um, I just wanted to add this because uh, that song like kind of inspired me, and I uh, went off on a little tangent there for like seven minutes. So I apologize. I didn't really uh, talk about the song as much as I want to because um, that was a great song. Just like the way... Like, his voice is amazing, and, like, that rasp in it, like, it makes me want to cry every time I hear it, bro. I, like, I, and I, I held myself back in the video because, um, I don't know, I don't, I never, like, if I cry in a video, like, I don't display it sort of thing, like, in a thumbnail. I'm not like that, but I don't, I don't, I'm just, I don't like sharing it. I've done it before, obviously, with other videos, but I don't know. But every time he hit those notes, man, that rasp came in. It would just raise the hairs on my freaking arm and it'd make my eyes well up, dude. He's just got so much soul and so much pain in that voice, bro. Like, you can hear the shit that he's been through in every note that he sings. And um, I just think it it's so refreshing to have a voice from my generation like this. Because um, I'm guessing he's around my age, you know, late 20s. Uh, a lot of us are content with just not saying anything. And, you know, most of us don't even think about anything. I'm talking about my generation, like, you know, more than buying iPhones and, you know, fucking people and drinking and stuff, unfortunately. I mean, of course, there's always exceptions to the rule, I feel like, you know, and there's more people than less probably that aren't like that. But I just feel like what I see, at least, like on the world and YouTube, my generation is stupid as fuck. We uh, like to claim that we're like the woke generation and we're so smart and like we're awake about all these things. And reality, we just fell for like psyops and fucking social media algorithms. And you know what I'm saying? Like we think we're smart and we know all these things. But in reality, we just uh, <laughs> we just read a little bit and like figured out history and like tried to describe it a different way and just reframe it as this other thing. And I don't know. It's just this postmodern bullshit. But um, 
Oliver, I think, uh, just from these two songs alone, has already captured the voice of this generation, and especially uh, people that were addicted to drugs and uh, are poor and from areas like we are, I think, because he's from West Virginia, I believe. Uh, my family's originally from West Virginia, um, Wheeling, West Virginia, actually. And uh, so to have uh, someone come from this stereotypical area that people think is, you know, trashy and whatever, you know, you know how... Hollywood likes to paint people from this area. I'm that. I'm from Maryland, so I'm in. I'm close to West Virginia, so I know they like to just nowadays like just we're white supremacist, fucking bigot, racist assholes, and like we weren't like that ten years ago. Why are we like that now? Like you know, what I'm saying like it's just they try to pull this shit over people's eyes, and I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. It's just people don't care anymore. People will just believe whatever the first thing they're told, you know what I'm saying? And uh, they just don't care anymore. And that's because we've been trained and conditioned to be Amazon workers and computers and not human beings anymore that actually have critical thinking and reasoning. But that's a truth bomb for you. Bet you didn't know that one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you, Oliver. This was great. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing some more from him next week. Uh, whatever song you guys want me to do, just leave me down below. I will do it. Sorry for uh, rambling again. Yeah, that's my fault. I tend to do that, especially when something inspires me like that. I'll go for 20 minutes, bro. I'm like a fucking Energizer bunny. This mouth does not stop running sometimes, and I wish I could just go, you know what I'm saying? But here we are. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Yeah.